Good morning. Hello. Hi, friends. We have our coffee. We woke up. We did our morning skincare routine. We took out our braids. We brushed our hair. We're still in our PJs today. These are my favorite set of PJs. I got them in a PR package a few years ago, and they're so comfortable. They have my initials, which I love. I don't remember who sent this over. I do apologize. It's It was like two, three, maybe four years ago. Last night, I slept in braids, and I woke up with these kind of crimped wavy braids that I love. Today's gonna be a good day. I wanted to show you guys, do you guys remember over the weekend, I got a delivery from a subscriber and she owns a small business called Epic Baked Goods and she sent over all of these dessert treats, right? I usually don't like brownies. I think that it's too much chocolate. I crave it like maybe once every two years. And she sent over brownies. They're the best brownies I've ever had. They're not your regular completely chocolate. <laughs> That's Cooper. They're not like your regular like all over chocolate brownie. They're called Ubi brownies. And at first I didn't know what Ubi was. So I looked it up and Ubi is that purple, purple like potato looking thing. But anywho, these are the best brownies ever. She's based out of Long Beach, California. So if you can meet her and pick up, that would be great. Make sure you guys put in an order. I'll list the Instagram down below. It's called Epic Baked Goods. She's right now working on shipping. So hopefully you guys can order from outside of California. But oh my gosh, order the ubi brownies they are so good it's really hard for me to explain to you guys what it tastes like but it is the most perfect balance of like a little bit of sweet but not too much sweet it's so good and it's got this like really pretty dark purple color mm. and it's so moist it melts in your mouth i don't know what she did to them they're just so good our kitchen is always a mess after the weekend literally Rocky, do you love mama? Do you love mama? Are you kidding mama kisses? Come here. Come on, Baba. Oh man. Oh man, scared of this. Oh man. Rocky. Hi, Riley. Come here. Rocky. Oh man. Oh man. Oh my, oh man. What's going on over here? I don't know. He decided to sit on me. Are you guys having a moment with daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Casper, do you love the sun? He gets uh, like a lot of sunlight in this house. I love it. Aww. He's Hi. so cute. Hi, Ray. Ready? Wait, oh no, what's going on? Oh boy. And Casper's in a bad mood. Casper was like, I was enjoying the sun and you And then you came up. over. <laughs> you guys love each other, stop it. They're so weird. Sometimes they'll just go up to each other and lick each other. They don't even bite each other. No, it's just licking. It's like that annoying like... <laughs> it's that annoying like, kiss me but don't kiss me thing. Then we have old man here, and then Kobe, do you love your sake? He loves uh, sitting on top of the sofa. Carlos is going to teach you guys how to fold clothes because in a previous vlog, he was nonchalantly folding his t-shirts and so many people were amazed by it. So he's gonna show y'all. I thought everybody folded clothes the same way that I do. No, baby, remember when we first started dating? I told you that you have a very interesting way of folding clothes. I thought everyone folded clothes like this. Sup, peeps? <laughs> There's really nothing to it. <laughs> you have to do like step by step. Okay, so basically what I do is... Wait, they can't even see your beautiful work. Oh. Friends, I'm sorry. I move you back. There you go, my love. Basically, so I just get the shirt, you know, and then I always like kind of fold it in half, but probably leave like a little bit, like that much. I would say, what is that? Carlos, they can't even see you. I did, no, I'm showing them the shirt, look. 
Ah, you can't really tell. I want to make sure that our friends... Okay, there. You can see, you can kind of see like where the ending, where the okay. bottom of the shirt is to right, where the right, top. Right, right, right. And so I leave that much space, right? And then basically I just get the other half and then... I want to make sure our friends... Okay, I think you're moving too fast because I'm already lost. Really? I'm just kidding. Oh. Okay, so we're there. And then basically I just kind of calculate where it's going to be, like right there. Kind of find the middle. So like the sleeve should should meet in the middle. Um, it just depends on the shirt, and then you just go like that. Oh, see, this one came out wrong. Are you nervous? No, but I hate. I'm very like I hate that it's not straight in the middle. Like when you set it down, it's like kind of all set. So I, I have and, to have my shirts like. And this is why he does laundry, and I don't. But that's basically it, you guys. I just. Okay, well you do it, and then I'll do it. Like fold the way that I'm folding. Yes. And I, I will tell you that you are a very special creature. And then you, like that, and then you fold it. Alright, alright. That's it. How do you fold shirts? I don't fold, I just put them in a drawer. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, okay. You don't, don't teach me, okay? Oh, you're gonna, what, you're gonna try to do it like I did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You do this a lot. You're like always. <laughs> <laughs> you're like always doing that. You're like shaking it. Okay, and then you do like this thing where you're like this, and then you shake some more. See, I feel like it's not as pretty as yours. You know, it ain't bad for my <laughs> first time. It's not bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really simple. You want to see how I fold clothes? <coughs> what, that's it? Yeah, that'll do. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I can't do that. Or there's like another, I eat, do you watch, um, you probably don't babe, but. Marie Kondo? Don't talk about my girl, she sparks joy, okay? Um, no, she no, like. No, she does it, she, wait, she goes way over the top, like. She does something like this. She's like rolling, uh, she, do, she does too much rolling, I don't like it. And then she how did you learn how to fold shirts? Did you work in retail? That's how my mom folds them, and I just saw it and then oh. I just did it, I guess. Carlos um, used to work, well, he had a lot of jobs growing up. What did you use? You used to be like a night janitor? Oh, yeah, for like the, these offices and stuff. So he used to be like, he used to like clean it at night and like work night shift, and then he worked, he took out trash for people. That's a job, right? No, that um, that was when I was like in elementary school and during oh. the summer, I would tell people that I would take their trashes out for five bucks and- Hey, that's a good ass yeah, idea. Yeah, and I didn't even, like I don't, I didn't even realize how lazy people were. <laughs> and so, there you go. Um, and then what, you worked at Rite Aid, Sprouts. Rite Aid, Sprouts. You made dog food. He used to make uh, food for, food for dogs? Yeah, it was um, it was before. Basically, the company, the company, the company, the yeah, company. Basically, the company was called Bite Me, and the owners started off by doing like a a meal prep. They were they were doing like meal prep and stuff, and then they went over and said, "Hey, let's try making dog food." So I worked there for a little bit in their like brand new facility and stuff, and it was it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, he was like always super tired. This was like when we first started dating. You were working there. And Carlos would always come home like super freaking tired. Oh yeah, it'd be, um, I would always visit you at work. I know, factory factory jobs and stuff like that are intense. I know. Mom worked at Maple Donuts it's... for 13 years, and literally this one time, my mom fainted because she was packing donuts and she fainted on the assembly line. And thank God that people were around her, else she would have freaking been swallowed by the machines. It was yeah, super it's, scary. It's um. It's intense. You just, well, you should stand for like 13 hours. My mom would literally go to work at three o'clock in the morning, like 3 a.m. and come home at like 6 p.m. Cause she would do overtime sometimes. Yeah. It was crazy. Oh yeah, it's intense. Well, that's why she's retired now and loves her garden. <laughs> that's how I fold my clothes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to Carlos's folding series. Is there anything else you do that's interesting? I don't think so. Everything else is, see, when, like, the things that I do I think are normal and I think that a majority of people, do, like, do the things that I do the way that I do them. So when everybody started saying, like, oh my gosh, like, you know, the way that you fold your shirts and stuff, I was like, I didn't know, I was like, I didn't know that many people didn't do that. Did you find a dupe for the... 
Oh, I haven't found a dupe for the uh, blanket, but I will. What um, is the blanket called? The blanket is called Ask Bear Dreams or something like that. <laughs> barefoot Dreams? <laughs> it's uh, the Barefoot Dreams blanket that costs like $1,000 or something like that. 180 Oh, well, it's close enough. I returned it. Did you really? Yeah. First of all, 180 for a blanket is just like... You guys, don't ever like, I, okay, spend I'm, $180 on a blanket. I'm... Okay, obviously like... I'm about investing in good pieces that I think are worth it. Like, I don't have a problem paying for certain things. Like, paying a little bit more for certain things. Like, to each their own, you know? It's your hard work money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard earned money. You can do whatever you want with it. In my opinion, $180 for a blanket is not where I want to be putting That's a lot. my hard earned money. I just money. don't, I, even, like, if I won the lottery tomorrow, uh, that I still wouldn't do it. I would still I would buy, buy $180 blankets and pass them out to, like, Homeless shelters and like retirement. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But I'm saying. But not for myself. Yeah, exactly. Like in general, like I, I just wouldn't do that. It's just $180 for something. My mom like, would tear me a new asshole if I told her I bought a $180 blanket. Yeah, well, I mean, our moms are very like, who cares? You know what, though? Those big blankets that. um The ones with the tiger on them? The ones with animals on them and stuff. I grew up with those too. Yeah, those are legit. My those mom has you, one with a tiger. Those keep you Dude, warm. They're heavy as hell, though. Yeah, well, that's the point. I they're, hated washing those. They're supposed to be winter blankets. Yeah, mom has one in her room. Yeah, I know. I had a, uh, I had a, I had one that had an elephant, lion, and a zebra on it. Where can you get one of those? I feel like our kids should at least have one. Um. Do they make smaller sizes? Yeah, I'm sure they do. Because I, I got one. Well, the one that I got, I think my mom got it at the swap meet, so I don't know. Ooh. Yeah. My mom got hers like made in Vietnam, and I, let me tell you, there's a 50 pound suitcase limit. Like two blankets was already 50 pounds. Yeah, they're heavy. I got mine at the swap meet. I think, I don't know. I love the swap meet. If you guys know where else we can get them, go ahead and let Ooh, us know. yeah, but let us I, know. Because I haven't really seen them in like a store. Those would be really nice. I've only seen them at like the swap meet. Because it gets really cold here. I haven't been to the swap meet in years. I used to go with mom to the swap meet at uh, Golden West. I used to go to the uh, OCC one. Do you like my hair? Yeah, I love your hair. I used to go to the OCC one. Never been to that one. That one's probably really busy because the lot is huge. I used to go to OCC. You've never, you've never gone to that one? No, I've been to the Golden West one. I actually hated it when I was a kid because my mom would want to go every single weekend. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to go hang out with my friends. And she would make me go to the swap meet with them. And I was like, I hate this place. Oh, now you want to do it, huh? No, I just want to go buy stuff and get out. I hate walking. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Decided to do this. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, this <laughs> this little this oh, oh god this thing this mat right here was in the studio. It's a workout mat. It's a workout mat, and Kim tried to put it as like I guess like a rug or something in her studio just in case something spilled or whatever. But uh, she noticed that this thing would kind of like clump up. Like you can tell right there, it's kind of like raising up and stuff. And she almost tripped the other day, so. It didn't work out, so then she was like, hey, let's just put it out here. And the dogs love laying on the concrete? Yeah, it's like, we'll, so, so we'll use it as like a uh, back uh, outside like rug kind of thing, but we just left it here and we moved that table over here to the sand, but... I got a little table here mm -hmm. that I can edit on because I really enjoy being outside. Yeah. So I can edit on here, and then we got like these little woven bean bags for extra seating that I'm just going to put right here. But yeah, this is uh, and then we this also is... got a table cover. Oh yeah, but this is basically what our California room looks like, and we've got the table there. I don't know what she's gonna do with this plant, but it's gonna stay there. Oh really? Yeah, I kind of like it. Oh okay. Um, and you know when I film mukbangs, yeah, we're gonna get this view, and it'll be cute to get some green. Oh okay. Yeah. As you can see, we need we still need to buy a like hose. Uh, oh yeah. A little hose. What's it called? A I reel. Saw... Reel. A hose reel. Ooh, if you guys have any suggestions yeah. on what, like, if you guys have one that you guys really like or something like that, I, I was, know. I was looking online and 
there were a bunch of reviews. Sorry about the wind. I know it's kind of, but I saw a bunch of reviews on different ones. And there were a bunch of negative ones. There are some people that loved it. So it, it was a very mixed bag on which one to get. But if you guys have one that you guys suggest, or if you guys, the one that's like durable, you know, gets the job done, then go ahead and let us know. Cause I don't like that situation right there. It's very messy. It's nice. Basically, yeah, this is our backyard. I watered it earlier. The good thing is that it's kind of hot today, so it's pretty dry. Oh, and then we might get a, a thing. Oh, yeah. So we wanted to get, it's kind of like a little, uh, what is it? Like a, it's, it's a little seat. Cabana. Like a cabana kind of thing. It's a seat, has a little cover on it and stuff. It's really cool. We saw it at Living Spaces. It's kind of big, and I kind of wanted it over there, but obviously it's not going to fit over there. So now, and then that side's mostly where the dogs go. Like for some reason they like being on that side more than on this side. So we were deciding that maybe it could go like right there, right here, naps. but we still need to see how big it is because if it's too big, it's going to look weird. I think, I, think I don't we know. might have to put it diagonal there. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Like this? Yeah. And then we would lay here. This is kind of cool that we can see who enters the house. I think, but yeah, I think like if we put it right here in this corner, obviously you can't go onto the gravel, it's going to be weird, but if we'd like to do this corner right here. I think here. that'd be really cool. Ooh, that would be nice. You want to do that? Yeah. Let's look for some. Let's not just settle on the one at Living Spaces. Oh, I did look. That one's the best. Oh, really? Yeah. We'll do some measurements and then we'll decide if it's going to be too crowded or not. Yeah, a lot of the ones that I saw were smaller. You know how we like this one because it's like really oh, big? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Both of us fit perfectly in that. Hey, look at the beautiful mountain today. Beautiful mountain. It's really pretty today. Yeah. We it's really moving out here. Yeah, it's a really nice uh it's a really nice day, but you guys, I'm still obsessed with our backyard. When it's cleaned up, there were toys everywhere, so we brought the basket out, yeah. put the toys there. Those so. are outdoor toys. Yeah, so now everything's good. It's nice and sleek, nice and clean. Love it. And then I'm thinking about doing some um, plant beds to grow some uh, herbs and stuff. Yeah, where those water bowls are. Where that water bowl is, I was thinking about doing some garden beds. I think that's what they're called. So I can plant like basil and like like chili peppers, things like that, that are smaller. And maybe even some lettuce, because I really like lettuce. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, my. oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Look at that one. Cooper's like, I want a toy. I don't care. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Hi, Rocky. We have to be careful with old man because it gets really hot here. Yeah. And he has a heart murmur. Oh, they want the toys. Oh, yes. Sorry. Forgot. Mommy and I cleaned it up. Here, toys. Oh man. Oh man, you guys give you a toy. Oh my gosh. Riley. Off. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Riley. Sit. If you throw it, if you throw it up straight up, he jumps up. All right, let's see. Ready? One, two. See? <laughs> Did you see the Oh. Oh, we're so happy. <laughs> Oh, he's got the zoomies. Riley! He's so funny. Can you guys see him? Yeah, I knew it! I knew it! Hi. What are you doing? Cooper? Mr. Cooper? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Take him away, dude. Does it ever go away? All I want is you to answer me right now. Just dance with me right now. Just dance with me right now. When I wake up, you're not next to me. Guess I'm missing all your energy. That's all I want. That's all I want. Promise I am not your enemy. I just need another man.
show my friends online the amount of trash that I vacuumed up. It's an accomplishment. Look at all the trash, my friends. That's cool. Oh my God, look. Dude, I vacuum every day and there's still just dirt. I wonder why, huh, people? Super sad, it's not his fault, so don't even look at him. Ew. I'm still finishing my coffee. I feel like a lot of people think that this is a lot of coffee, but if you guys notice, I put a lot of ice. I am such a ice person, I'm obsessed with it. So when I fill up the ice here, I actually don't get a lot of the flavoring. And then it also dilutes throughout the day, so everything is diluted, which is the way I like it. I'm such a weird coffee drinker, you guys, I swear. I'm not like somebody that you should be asking about coffee stuff. I'm just trying to make it work. I just got the Nespresso. I'm trying to figure things out. And also, I feel like a lot of people are like, oh my god, that's a lot of creamer, but actually when you taste this, you can even ask Michelle, because I made it for her over the weekend, you still taste a lot of the coffee as well. When I first started making this with the Nespresso, I would put way too much creamer and milk, and it wouldn't taste anything like coffee, but now I've kind of figured out that a little bit of creamer goes a long way. But it tastes so good, I freaking love it. It takes me all day to finish this whole thing, basically. I don't think I've ever finished this whole thing in one sitting, not that I can remember. I just finish cleaning the whole kitchen. I have to unload the dishes and put a few more things in, but the kitchen looks so clean. I cannot live without a clean kitchen. I hate when things are cluttered. Usually in the weekends, in the weekends, on the weekends, on the weekends. Usually on the weekends, um, sometimes Michelle comes over, we just have fun and we don't really think about cleaning up or the kitchen and then I usually clean up when she leaves, usually Saturday or Sunday night. And so I need to start out the week. So when she comes, the kitchen is completely clean and then when she leaves, it's a little bit chaotic because we had so much fun, but I enjoy cleaning. So I'm so glad the kitchen is cleaned. I want to tidy up the sofa because that looks like a mess. And then I have some boxes that I want to unbox in the front as well. The typical Kim Tai vlog, that's what we're doing. Starting tomorrow though, we need to have this place completely wrapped up and cleaned. Um, I think Carlos is having his best friend over at the end of the month, so I wanna have this place completely done. And so we are going to finally just wrap up some of the boxes. And also this weekend, Jocelyn and Brian are coming because they are delivering the side table console that's going behind the couch, which you guys have been hearing me talk about for the last few weeks. And then Brian was so incredibly nice, both Brian and Jocelyn, they are gifting Carlos his custom made TV stand, which they showed me the design of it and it looks so freaking awesome. There's like a place for Carlos to slide in his PlayStation. So it's not like standing there in case like the dogs run into it and it drip, like it falls over and that would be completely horrible. So that is really cool. We'll show you guys that this weekend when it comes. And um, yeah, so I think right now I'm gonna do some unboxing. I just wanted to catch you guys up because I know I've been like fast forward and cleaning ever since the afternoon. I was gonna go and get my nails done today. As you guys know, I broke a nail. But I think I'm gonna go tomorrow because I found a really good nail technician near my house and her work is so beautiful. And she said she's free tomorrow. So I might go tomorrow. But I think right now I'm gonna unbox some boxes. We're gonna make dinner. I have been craving the same thing that I ate last night. We're gonna make some shrimp with broccolini and I have some leftover rice. I'm gonna do some editing and upload a video. And then we're gonna watch some Oh no, I gotta go. Cooper got one of my decor branches from the ground. So we're gonna watch Designated Survivor. We're on season two, you guys. We finished season one, it was so good. I also really want to paint this vase. You guys know how, um, oh, here's the kitchen, by the way. Kitchen is all clean. You know how we did this vase last week where we painted or we spray painted the bottom of, of it black? So I'm thinking about spray painting, look at these two, obsessed with each other. I'm thinking about spray painting the bottom of this vase like a cream color, oh, sorry you guys, a cream color so it goes with the living room. Look at this. I feel like on Instagram you guys are like, oh my god, your sofa looks so like neat and put together. This is literally my life on the regular. We have dogs fighting in the corner. We have just things all over the place and we have old man away from the chaos because he does not like it. I also want to go through these boxes because actually that's my goal tonight. By the end of this video, I'm gonna go through these boxes because I'm thinking about getting a um, accent chair to put there. I saw this one on Target and it's been sitting in my cart for four weeks, you guys. I have been debating 
if I should get it or not. And I think I really want it because it's really going to pull in the living room area because you guys know we're not doing a rug. We decided not to do one. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about that I haven't gotten a chance to talk to you about. Um, this concrete table is from CB2. It's one of their most popular items. I got it at the beginning of February. It came and it was kind of cracked. I think I told you guys about this and it just continues to crack. So I contacted CB2. I said I was really disappointed and if there was anything I could do or they could do for me and they said they're going to send me a new one and take this one back. So that new one is going to come sometime this month and they said to just leave the coffee table there and they'll come and get it. So we're going to get a new one. We are praying that the new one doesn't come cracked as well because that would be so sad because I love this coffee table. But like I said, we decided on no rug. Will that change in the future? Maybe. I don't know. But as of now, I'm just not interested in getting a rug for this area. I think it's okay the way it is. And with four dogs, it's been amazing to just vacuum and get in the corners. So I'm going to clean this area. I'm thinking about an accent chair that goes with the living room area. I think it's really going to tie everything together. And so this is my goal today. We're going to have to split everything up. I definitely want to have the house done and cleaned by the end of the month. I'm not too sure if I got a chance to show you guys this. Oh, sorry. That's Carlos. <laughs> it's okay <laughs> to show you guys this little area. I think I did it really late at night last week and I didn't get a chance to put in a vlog. But if I did, I do apologize. I will link it down below. I got these cute little vases, these glass vases, and the lid is this ball. I thought it was so unique and beautiful. I got a set of, I believe, four on Amazon. I will link them down below for you guys. But for this one, I put sugar and then the one in the back is a little bit taller and that's my muy uk, which is kind of like a chili salt in the Vietnamese culture. We use it a lot for dipping or seasoning. And then I have my oil container that you guys know I'm obsessed with. Just a little decor. And then I have some red peppers, normal salt, and then that is the chicken seasoning salt that I love. But this is my little setup. I know a lot of you guys have been getting this tray. I will try to find it down below. I don't remember why I bought it. I think I bought it on CB2. If you guys are ever wondering about anything, I buy a lot of things on CB2, West Elm, Crate and Barrel, Ikea, a lot of Target, a lot of Amazon. Those are usually my places. And then on the left here, do you guys remember this book that I got at Home Goods last week? I decided to just put these books so it kind of has a little elevation. And these are snacks from Epic Baked Goods, my favorite. I ran out of the Ubi brownies today, so I'm kind of sad. Okay, unboxing time. I'm so excited. All right, all right, all right, where do we start? We do have a lot of Amazon stuff, like usual, but actually a lot of the stuff I'm going to um, return. Oh my God, my big belly was just showing. A lot of the stuff I'm going to return because I don't need them anymore. So last week I bought the Sony ZV-1 camera that you guys saw in one of my vlogs. I actually returned that the very next day because I realized that it just wasn't compatible with what I was doing. The battery life was extremely short, even though I did buy backup batteries, but it was such a hassle because sometimes I do a lot of B-roll and I could only film for literally maybe 45 minutes max and it was already low on battery. So I figured I would return it and maybe wait for a better one to come out. I'm okay with the camera that I'm using right now. It is just a little bit heavy, but it's okay. You guys are so curious what mommy got. So curious. This item I'm not returning and I'm very excited to show it to you guys. I think we're gonna have to try it on after we unbox everything. It feels so good so far. I got this dress from Amazon. How cute is this? I believe that I got a large. Hopefully a large fits me. I think it should fit me. But I got this dress. I thought the color pink was so pretty and then it has these sleeves here. I'm gonna have to try this on later for you guys. The material seems nice so far. Okay, update, how cute! I transferred everything out. Look how cute it is. And I love this one because I can put my smaller knives at the bottom and then my bigger ones at the top. And I love the light wood color, it's so beautiful. I will link this down below for you guys if you're interested. I am literally still trying to find a place for this, but for now, it's just gonna go right here. It's probably not gonna stay here, but I love it so much! We also have this little platform here. Look how cute it is. So um, I switched everything out. Now this will be here and it looks so much better. Oh my gosh. I just love the kitchen vibes. We have a little candle thing going. 
so cute. Okay, you guys, we are doing a little try on haul. This is the dress that I got from Amazon. Of course, I still need to iron it. Ooh, I think you guys are a little too bright. It's so pretty. I got a size large, and it fits me nicely. I don't have a bra under, by the way, because I feel like with a bra, it might not fit. My chest is a little bit big for a large. I wear a 42C in bra, so that might give you a reference to your body size and shape. I will also leave my measurements, my waist measurements, my hips, and my, my chest measurement down below for you guys. So you might have something to reference off and see if it does fit. Amazon can be, you know, well shopping in line in general can be a little bit weird and a little bit difficult as well. So I will list my measurements down below for you guys, but this is what the dress looks like. I love the color. I would have to say that it looks exactly like it does the what it, what you see on camera looks exactly like it does in person. You guys know what I'm trying to say with that. I have no idea what I'm trying to say. But it's so cute, flowy and cute and comfortable. And these are the sleeves as well. I was a little bit nervous about the sleeves because I don't love my arms too much, but it does cover my arms, which is really nice. There you guys go. A little a little O O T D. Cute. It also comes in a bunch of different colors, by the way. I just got this one for spring. I wanted like a pop of color in my closet, but they also have black and then they have white, I, I believe, and like a royal blue color. Oh, and the material is also really nice. It's not too thin. You're not gonna see anything under. And then the top layer is a double, a double layered, which is really nice. And it's flowy and cute. Oh my gosh, how pretty is this one? Okay, I'll come up for a little closer look. I love this, you guys. Um, look how stretchy the middle part is. It's so freaking stretchy. I feel so comfortable in this dress. And um, just to give you a reference, I believe, I'll put the sizes that I ordered down below. I believe that I got their biggest size, which might be an extra large. This is either a large or an extra large, and I am five feet. And look, it is perfect on me. It is barely touching the ground. Like, I feel like I can walk around in this and just move. Look how cute the movements are. I think this would be the perfect dress for any occasion in the spring and summer. I believe that I have a shorter version of this in like um, a, ter a terracotta color and it's so pretty. These are the sleeves. They're so comfortable. J this dress overall, I would rate it a 15 out of 10. Like this is amazing. And the middle part, look, it's all elastic. Oh my God. I love this because so then I can breathe and move around. If you want, you can also do it like this. A little off the shoulder moment. It would be even cute for like a pregnancy dress. I think this would be so cute one day for like some maternity pictures. I love them so much. Okay, anyways, so if you put the sleeves back on, then you get this vibe. I love it. They also have other colors as well. I will link these down below for you guys. I also got the same dress in white. I'm not feeling the white too much. I don't know, it's making me look like a blob. I'm not loving the white too much. I feel like I could have gone a size smart, a smarter, oh my God, a size smaller. This is an XL and I feel like it's a little bit too big down here. I feel like I could have shrunk a size smaller, maybe a large, like a large max. I could never go a medium or a small, but I think a large would have cut it. I just feel like white, it's just making me look bigger and then the sleeves, I don't know. It's a very fairy tale moment, but I feel like the black or any other color would have been my favorite. I'm not too in love with the white, but they do have it in white. I'm also wearing an XL, by the way. I looked it up for you guys. But this is the white. Also, a little sneak peek, possible merch. You guys should come back tomorrow because I feel like I'm going to try on all the possible colors and get your opinion. So cute. And very, very comfortable. You guys know quality is number one for me, and this is probably the most comfortable thing I've ever worn. <clears throat> I am going to make myself some dinner. Carlos had a burger for dinner. I'm just gonna peel some shrimp. We have some broccolini in the fridge, so I'm going to eat that. Oh no. I wanted to order some yogurt land. I even told myself, I said, Kim, order it. So sad. I'm so sad, I even told myself should have set an alarm. Tomorrow, tomorrow we can go to Yogurt Land. I've been craving their tart flavor ever since I had it over the weekend. We will go tomorrow, you guys. I guess I can just finish my coffee. It literally has taken me eight hours and I'm still halfway.
good you guys we have a bunch of broccolini I love greens I love vegetables if you guys watch my mukbang channel you know that I am all about the greens so we have a bunch of broccolini the more greens the better in my opinion and then I had the leftover white rice from yesterday I had like a little batch a little cup a little bowl of it and then I had some shrimp in the fridge I always buy like a big bag of shrimp from Costco and I leave that in the fridge for days like this. And then I scramble two eggs to make the fried rice and I just put everything together. And we have a shrimp fried rice with a side of broccolini. It looks so good. Look at that. So I'm gonna eat this and then get a little work while we watch Designated Survivor. If you guys have not watched Designated Survivor on Netflix, you are missing out. It is so freaking good. I'm gonna take a first bite with you guys here. Look at the shrimp, it is so succulent. This is like the easiest way, by the way, by the way, <laughs> to make shrimp fried rice. If you don't want shrimp, you can add chicken, you can add steak. If you don't want anything else, you can even just do um, egg fried rice. Even a little cilantro on top would be nice. Bon appetitis, you guys. Mmm. Oh my god. That is so good. I seasoned it with soy sauce and sriracha. Mmm. The broccolini is so good. Bon appetitis. Delicious. Look, you guys, I'm using my new cup I just got on Amazon. It is ginormous in person. I just like don't know how to show you guys on camera. In person, it's so big. If you're gonna get insulated like the double wall glass cups, I highly recommend this one. I have bought pretty much every single one on Amazon. I would have to say this one is the best. It's so big and so nice. I will link this down below for you guys. Ugh, so worth it. Okay, skincare time, and then a little bit of work, and then bedtime. All right, second night using this, this little baby right here. I'm hoping to get my nail done tomorrow. It's like making me kind of sad, but thank God it blends in. Second night. It feels so good. It's got this like subtle su citrusy. Oh, by the way, last night I used this, the CeraVe healing ointment on my lips. Ooh, let me tell you. I believe that I like this more than Aquaphor. It feels so good. All of my, I don't know if you guys noticed, last night I had really dry lips. It completely went away. I love it so much. This is my new baby. I like it more than Aquaphor. Even though I will still keep Aquaphor. It's just like really thick. I wonder if they sell mini sizes that I can like pop in my purse because I really like it a lot. No more dry lips. Now I'm gonna go in with one last thing. I'm gonna go in with the Murad Intense Recovery Cream. I always concentrated in this area, like starting here around here because I am so dry. I cannot believe tomorrow is Wednesday. It's crazy. Alrighty, you guys, I am going to get some work done, watch Designated Survivor, brush my hair, <laughs> and get ready for bed. I'm trying to get into bed today before at least 1 o'clock. I love you guys, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new video. I love you. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye. I think I already said bye, but I wanted to show you guys that I'm braiding my hair. <laughs> now I'm going to go. Or did you guys want to watch me braid my hair? <laughs> because it might be therapeutic. Oh, braids look so pretty when there's highlights. I'm so jealous of everybody who has this color hair naturally. Can people get this color hair naturally? It's, it's highlights, but yeah, I think there are people in the world that are born with natural highlights.
this way. When we sleep, my extension, or when I sleep, we, oh my God. When I sleep tonight, my extensions won't get tangled and knotted. And also I wake up with natural waves and I just brush them out. What is going on here? There we go. I'm like looking at myself, I'm like so serious. Ooh, this one, all the strands are even, so I might be able to go down to the very end. Ooh, look. Okay, I'm gonna stop here so I can tie my hair. If I had like a really skinny hair tie, I probably could go down to the very end, but I do not. There we go. And we are ready for bed. Okay, I gotta go now. I love you guys. Goodbye, my friends. I will see you back here tomorrow.